Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new. It is 7.30 a.m. and I just ran through Starbucks and grabbed my coffee. I also got an everything bagel this morning. It just sounded really good, so grab that. And now I'm heading to Callie's to go babysit today. Just changed her diaper. Now we have to find something for her to wear. We want to wear. She's got all new clothes since after Christmas because now she's in 9 to 12 month clothes. Favorite part of the day is picking out her outfit. We got unicorns and polka dots. Oh, actually, I think she has pink sweatpants, so this would be really, really cute. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Boop! <gasps> all changed! Clap, clap, clap. clap. <gasps> Good job! Good job! Okay, it's a little bit later and I just got to Azul. I am so excited. I brought you guys here with me last week to do a facial and now I'm back again because after much thought I decided I want to get some filler before my wedding and I hope you guys don't judge me for it I mean it's very minimally invasive and if it makes me feel more confident who really cares I am back home and I am swollen. Look at that, I actually have an upper lip. <laughs> I've wanted this for so long. But then when I stop smiling, look, so swollen. I'm on my own for dinner tonight. I bought a piece of salmon. I'm gonna make some salmon and a veggie and I think couscous. Hi guys, it's a few days later and I'm about to show you guys my lips. <laughs> I really, really wanted to film the whole process of healing, um, but I didn't because they're still really swollen and I'm still not happy with how they look. Um, my upper lip is too big. As you can see, when I close my mouth, they look really good. It's like when I'm talking and stuff that I feel like it looks too big, too unnatural. Feel free to leave me your opinion, um, but I'm not asking for it. This is just how I feel. Uh, I just, I don't like how they look. It's just like my upper lip's too big. If it was a little bit smaller, which I know someone's going to say like, what, like it was before? But like, no, I still wanted some plumpness in my lip. It's just too big. So I feel like I don't love it. I made an appointment to go back in. I don't know if they're going to be able to dissolve some of this or if they're gonna say that it's still swollen since I'm technically not through the first two weeks yet and it takes apparently that amount of time for all the swelling to go down. Um, but either way, I'm kind of like in a panic because of how soon my wedding is. Yeah, that's my dilemma. This is what I get for deciding to go get lip filler this close to my wedding, but here I am with a giant upper lip. On another note though, Clarence sent me their Shimmer Comfort Lip Oils and there's a ton of different colors and I've only tried a couple of them. If you're on TikTok, then you probably have heard of the Dior Lip Oil. It's just like really, really popular, but I feel like it's always out of stock, at least. I mean, I only check like once or twice, but that's what people have said. And so I was really excited that they sent me these because they're supposed to be a decent dupe for them. There's like a ton of different shades to choose from and they're really, really nourishing. So, shout out to Clarence. I'm going to link these. I don't know if they come as a set or individually, but they're really cool. I'm sitting here on the floor of my office because I'm about to build my new desk that I had my sister pick up from Ikea for me. Because I don't have an Ikea near me, but there's one in Tampa. And so, I had her pick it up for me while she was there. Also exciting, but I didn't vlog it. I had my bridal shower this weekend, which was so much freaking fun, you guys. Uh, everything turned out amazing everyone I love was there and it was so much fun. I will say it was awkward having all of that attention on me, but I got through it. I just like do not like having people staring at me and like buying gifts for me and 
like it's something that's so sweet but i just always feel so awkward i don't like to like accept all of that attention from people so it's a bit awkward but we're gonna build this desk and i have to explain why i'm getting a new desk so this is just a single length desk that's from ikea it's called the mickey desk i believe and then my l-shaped desk is from amazon and i'm gonna be moving that into my storage unit Finally finished building the desk. Here's what it looks like. I really, really like it. I might still end up rearranging some things in my office, but I did take the other one out and put this one in and I can't believe I built this myself. I am so proud of myself because I have come so far when it comes to like building things by myself. Good morning, it's the next day. I'm trying to take out these pins in my hair because I want to try this new hairstyle that gives you bouncy waves, but you have to like pin your hair up with the curls and I just use my T3 and I don't know how well this is gonna work I'm gonna spray it with hairspray my hair is really dirty too because usually if I try to do bouncy curls they just end up really loose um, or they end up looking like wand curls you know so I want those like voluminous bouncy waves Ooh, it looks really pretty okay bye I'm not judging anything until I take these all out okay I got all the pins out so Okay, I look like a freak. I look like I'm in the wrong um, era right now with this hair. Let's try to calm it down. Ooh, it kind of looks like a, like a blowout. Like, you know, I definitely need some oil. It's a little frizzy. But I'm here for it. Very different than my normal hair. I'm gonna go put some oil in it. Okay, here's the final product after I ran my hands through it with some oil. Definitely very bouncy. I don't know if this was quite the look I was going for. Here's a little sneak peek at some of the new arrivals that are coming for Valentine's Day. I'm doing a pop-up right before Valentine's Day. It's actually the weekend that Chad and I get back from our honeymoon. And so I thought it'd be really cute to order a couple of things for that. So I found this like popcorn knitted sweater and I'm obsessed with it. And then this one. So these are kind of like for Valentine's Day. And then I have a bunch of other new arrivals. All of this stuff is new and hasn't hit the site. I just haven't had time to meet with models or we've just had issues with like our schedules and so when this happens I have no choice but to model myself okay I actually set up inside because it started raining outside and I, even though I was in the garage it's like hot and muggy so I just thought it would be better in here I definitely have less space but we're making it work so I have this little table thing just kind of as like a photo prop and then this little rug um, and then my pompous grass of course I hung up this bed sheet it's super wrinkly but you shouldn't be able to tell in photos and I kind of like cinched it at the bottom I'm using a five pound weight to hold the backdrop and then I have both of my softbox lighting kits and then I have my camera set up here with a ring light in front of it because lighting is everything. Here's my little setup. Okay, I finally finished with pictures and the mom jeans just went live, which some of you guys already got your hands on this because I started pre-ordering for SunStyled. So if you follow the SunStyled Instagram account, then you might already know because I had some people do the pre-order. So those are already on the way. I mailed those out yesterday. If you pre-ordered, but now they're available for everyone else and they are the cutest mom jeans ever and they're so comfortable. So I'm pretty proud of how these photos came out too because I did take them myself and I'll insert on screen some of the other pictures that I took today just to show you guys like if you just have the right lighting and a decent camera, you really can do your own pictures with like self timer or button. Um, if you have a small business, like you definitely don't have to rely on having models or something. It's way later, I did not anticipate doing pictures all day, but here we are. And now I'm just sitting here watching Amazon on the map tell me that I'm like the next stop for my barcode scanner. And that I am freaking pumped about because I'm finally gonna have a barcode system for all of my inventory. And here's a look at my floor with all the barcodes that I printed out for all of my inventory. I don't know why I haven't picked it up off the floor yet, honestly. <laughs> 
it's just kind of chilling down there. Chad and I have been so stressed and busy that this is still all of our stuff from the bridal shower that I have yet to put away. But one really, really exciting thing is from Katie, actually. You guys know Katie. She's been in my vlogs before. She got us the Echo Show, and I am so, so excited about this. So I might actually set this up tonight. I really can't wait. We threw away our old Echo. Like we didn't ever have this show, but we had like the big speaker one and we threw it away recently and don't mind my missing nail, but we threw it away recently because it was having a lot of issues connecting. So we just decided to get rid of it. I specifically want to use it to keep track of our schedules because I always forget what Chad has going on. He always forgets what I have going on. So if we have like a shared calendar and it shows up on this every day, I think that'll be really nice. Guys, it is here. I am official. We have an actual barcode scanner. That's what it looks like. This is the one that is supposed to work with Shopify, so I shouldn't have any problems. Plugged it in, it is now charging. And the instructions say you have to wait eight hours before you can actually use it. It needs to like completely charge before the first use. So we're not gonna be using this tonight. We will come back to that tomorrow. up the echo now i just updated it so it's restarting but i already signed in and everything okay it's all set up and i was just like testing out some of the features and it just added bananas to my shopping list to show me how we can use that which i think is so cool we always just write a list by hand and knowing chad he's probably still going to want to do it that old-fashioned way but maybe i can convince him to start using the alexa because it's like really convenient when you just run out of something you can like tell her to add it to the list mm -hmm. 